Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we've done a new Pokemon unboxing. So we're back with the Hisui and Zoro V-Star premium collection. It's been almost two weeks since we've done a Pokemon card video. I know we did the, um, theoretically everything is flat or everything is two dimensional in the world or the whole universe, but that was just another scientific video to just get by. And in the end, we end up losing one of our subscribers. At, now we're at 285. It's not a big deal, guys. No big deal. So before anything, right off the bat, only 30 seconds in. If anyone is new to the channel, subscribe. Our new goal, obviously, 300 subscribers. We're still pretty close. 15 subscribers. Not the largest gap in the world, but still is sizable. And also, guys, drop a like on this video. Let's try to smash uh, 13 likes on this video. Seems about right for a kind of box like this. I mainly bought the boxes of the Fuller V because it looks really cool. But their packs in here are actually very good, too. So with that said, let's get started on this pretty epic box. Honestly, his, uh, Hisui and Zoro was actually one of my favorite new Pokemon to be introduced. Like, the Hisuian forms, probably one of my favorites. I realize how much stuff there really is in here. Alright, so on the low end with every V-Star box, you gotta get the V-Star marker, which I already have, like, so many of these, but it's okay. Oh, wait. Uh, guys, I guess it's, I guess it's your lucky day. I mean, it's two of, it's two people's lucky days, because they gave us two code cards. So here's the first one. And here's the second one. They actually, there were two code cards in here. So I guess, uh, two of you guys are getting the box. Something I've never seen before. Got this pretty nice looking pin. The coin, it's one of the jumbo coins. I think that's how they're going to do coins from now on. It looks very nice. We got six packs. And they're actually all pretty solid. Should I say they're actually very good? So you got, on the low end, you got the earlier sets like Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, uh, oops, Fusion Strike, Astro Radiance, and then two Lost Origin. I guess these are like the highlight set because there's two. I should have did one Brilliant Stars, but whatever. There's still, it's still a very, very good lineup. Jumbo Hisui and Zorg V-Star, which looks incredible. I'd say it looks just as good as the uh, regular one. And finally, the two stars of the box i guess you can say that so the first one i think this one actually looks even better the hisuian zorog v full art card and this is a beautiful promo card and obviously the star of the show hisuian zorog v star regular uh, regular size also looks really sick so two cards off the bat and that's already like a good start now i'm gonna say though chilling rain is is a good set it's cheap and it has a lot of good cards in it of all these expensive it has a five the Umbreon VMAX Altar is over $550 now, and it's still going up. Granted, Evolving Sky is like $15 a pack now, so yeah, but even then. Fusion Strike, we can still pull the uh, that little like Battle VIP Pass. I know it's just a trainer, but it's $3 for a trainer card, so that's pretty good. And then the reverse, like 5 Astro Radiance is, I think, the lowest of the trainer gallery sets, but still is a good set. And then 2 Lost Origin, which I just love. I, 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 any of these sets are considered amazing. Like Lost Origin, Astro, or um, Brilliant Stars. And then we're seeing, um, uh, Brill and then we're seeing, not Brilliant Stars, we're seeing Silver Tempest, which is going to be another incredible set. And then at last, Crown Zenith, which I think might be one of the new, like, best sets of all time. All right, so I'm not going to spoil any codes. I'm just going to throw the codes, like, on the floor or something. Actually, I'll, I'll just put it here. I, do this little, I actually, okay, it's right here. I found a new way to do it. Put the codes, like, right in front, and then I'll flip them over later. But you kind of do feel the texture. Okay, Steel Energy. Uh, Flaffy, Katuna, Single Strike, Karen's Conviction, one of the trainer that I would consider special because it is Karen, Karen's pretty cool, Diglett, Rapid Strike, Score Bunny, Single Strike, Shuppet, Single Strike, Kupfu, Blitzel, Rapid Strike, Reverse is a Ghastly, and okay, we got Wall Rain, regular rare to start it off, this is one with uh, the move Hail Prison, nothing, nothing crazy, usually I'd be getting a little bit mad about this, but it's okay, we got a Reverse Ghastly, okay guys, you guys, the Brilliant Stars code card, I guess I can give you guys the codes right now, like, after the pack. All right, I'm going to go on to Fusion Strike because I think Evolving Skies is going to be saving us something pretty awesome. Hopefully, there is a chance we pull that Umbreon VMAX. If, if I see a VMAX, um, the, like, little white thing where it says VMAX, I'm going to freak out. Okay. All right, Fusion Strike. Another uh, Metal Energy. Oh, Quick Ball. This one's also pretty good. It's not too bad. It's, a, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's not a bad trainer card. Sharpedo, uh, Heliolisk. Nice artwork on the Sharpedo, though. Mana, Meowth, Meryl, or Merrill, Helioptile, 
Wulu, Simi Sage Reverse, and Absol as our rare. Uh, okay, I've got an uncommon, nothing crazy. Absol we pulled like I pulled before. I remember from like another box we opened. Yeah, these are the codes where they they change the codes up. I, th I think this is the first set to do that. I remember opening the Fusion Strike booster box. We're gonna do one of our Lost Origin packs, but because we have two of them, so we might as well just do one right now. And even if we do get a bad code card, it could still we can still get a Trainer Gallery card. Okay. Psychic Energy. All right, a Box of Disaster, a lower end Trainer card, but I'm, I'm trying to keep as many of the items as I can. But they're in, gonna go into my spare deck box. So let's go. Okay, Galarian Sunfisk, Sviper, Phantom, Pikachu. Always good card right there. Never turn it back and Pikachu, but Chop, Shuff it, Seal. Oh, that's that's not bad. Okay, Reverse Confei. That's a Reverse Rare. One of the best reverses in the in the uh, set. And oh, speaking of which, Hisuian Zorog V. Kind of ironic we pulled this because it is from Hisuian Zorog V Star Box. The thing is, I already have that card. But you know what? It's not a big deal. Another Ultra Rare to go in there. I'll keep the Confei in the middle as well. That's also a pretty good card. Okay. Okay, let's... I know it's not like a little bit of an off. Let's do um, Evolving Skies next. But for here's the code card. Actually, I might save... Let's just save Evolving Skies for last because we might pull the Umbreon. Astro Radiance is up next. This one's not as... I would say not as good as Lost Origin, but it's still like a really good set. Water energy. Uh, I don't like this one. Switch card's kind of boring. Uh, Uxi. Okay, it's a mythical. I also keep my original artwork Kasuians, like Kasuian Overquill. Uh, Heracross. Uh, that's, sorry, <laughs> kind of uh, garbled right now. Mantine. Oh, sorry, Heracross a common. What am I doing? Kasuian Quillfish. Kasuian Basculin. Puchina. Kamado is our reverse. I came up pretty early. Magnezone Holographic, which, yeah, I've seen this card already. I definitely have it, but it's okay. Not awful. Kamado, I guess I'll keep for now. It's a reverse trainer card. Here's another good card. This one felt really, um, this one felt like a bad code, but I guess it wasn't. All right. Second Lost Origin pack and the second to last pack of the uh, box. So far, I pulled a Hollow and a V card. That's all we have so far. We can still pull something else, I think. I, I feel it. Oh, wait a second. We got a V Star Marker, but it was kind of flipped on the other way. It was backwards. Okay. I mean, I don't see a big deal in that. Metacham, Arc Phone, one of the funny ones, but again, it's not awful. I'll keep it for now. It's not like good price, but like it's just funny. Alright, Hariyama, Inke, Paras, Spinarak, Finneon, Blipbug. Oh no, why do we have to pull Clefable? It's the curse. The curse card of the set. The only thing I can say it's a reverse rare. Uh, Malamar, see what it did? Do you, do you see what it did, guys? It gave us a bad one. It, the only good thing I'd say about the Clefable, it's a reverse rare, but that doesn't really make up for it. Maybe that means Evolving Skies has something. Maybe. Moment of truth, guys. Evolving Skies. A $15 pack to buy now, which, it, okay, it's not an incredibly expensive, but still is pretty simple for a, a newer set like this. Sorry, I closed my eyes. I really... Don't want to look at this code. I really hope we can get something out of here. Electric Energy. All right, we got Avlog. Rabombi. Uh, the Boost Shake. Another mediocre one, but whatever. Litleo, Low Tad. Tad Yursa. Psy Roganol. Nicket. Rabombi Reverse. Um, oh, oh, Galarian Zapdos. Okay. You know why it's my it's my it's my least favorite of the of the, of the Galarian birds, but it's boiling it down. It's still Zapdos. So another Hollow. I mean, we pulled two Hollows and a V card. So I guess eh, it was an okay box, not bad. So I guess outside of the promo cards, we we got three of them, not including our reverse rares. Reverse rares are just a little extra something. So we got these three: Magnezone, Galarian Zapdos, uh, Zoro, Hisuian uh, Zoro V. So not, nothing crazy, but definitely worth the video you know it's always worth the video unless it's like really really bad then like sometimes i, I actually stop the recording and just delete the video because it's so bad and i get so pissed off but honestly this isn't that wasn't too bad and, okay guys i forgot almost got the last code all right guys so okay that's gonna be it for this box i gotta clean all this stuff up now but you know it's all part of the whole um every video i gotta clean every, clean everything up all right guys so once again if anyone is new to the channel and want to see more videos like this or any other videos in general like if I get time to do like other videos, like I want to like switch up the content a little bit, but still have Pokemon is like kind of like the main priority. So if you guys want to see more content like this, 
subscribe to the channel. Our new goal, obviously, now 300 subscribers, getting very close to that. 15 more to go. And I might have an idea for a, a special. We might be doing a special for 300. I was thinking we can do a Silver Tempest booster box if I get my hands on the set, which from now, I think it's like less than a week away. So 15 subscribers. Yeah, I could just, you probably can do like another one. This is your card. If you scroll, this is your card. If you like and all that stuff that those get really good views. And I gained like over 50 subs from one of them one time, which is insane. But I also promised a special to two of my best friends. Or, sorry, best comrades. I have like comrades, and again, friend ends with end. And they wanted to do like I, I said like yeah, we can do that new set when it comes out. But it's not gonna be a booster box. It's gonna be like maybe a couple packs. So you know, if I buy three build and battle boxes, that's gonna be like a hundred bucks. But I don't know. I could be a, that'd be a uh, cool idea for a video. And also again, okay. So and also again, guys, drop a like on this video. Let's try to smash thirteen likes. Again, like appropriate, like a, I think again an appropriate number for a box like this. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, Honestly, I had a blast, even though we didn't do that well. And by the way, I already have the Zorog V, so I'm just going to sell it, but that's not a big deal. It's about the video. It's about, you know, opening cards in front of everyone, I guess you could say it like that. That's pretty cool. And I got to research a lot of these cards, so they might have, like, some hidden values in there. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, guys, close to 300 subscribers, possibly. I'm not saying this, like, certainly, but I think there's a good shot we are doing a Astro not Astro Radiance. Sorry, um, Silver Tempest Booster Box, and then Crown Zenith in the future. Maybe when we have 400 subscribers or 500, I don't know what we're going to be. Because Crown Zenith comes out in January, so that's still a while away. I don't know where we're going to be at there, but only the future will tell. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.